Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Island Fever Artisan. My name is Dan and today we're going to be making a pepper gin. A lot of my recipes have upwards of six to eight to ten ingredients that go into it. Today we only have three. It's going to be ginger, black peppercorn, and gin. So it's going to be an easy one. It's a good starter tutorial if you're just kind of getting into uh, the infusion game here. So first thing we're going to do I have a two inch piece of ginger here. I'm going to shave that with the back of a spoon. All right, next step, we take our box grater here. Grate that up. Usually I get left over with the stringy part. That's fine, just uh, go ahead and throw that in your jar. This is what we want right there. Jar with ginger, pour in the gin. And step one is done, easy as that. Seal this up. Store it in a cool, dark place for three days. We're gonna come back to this and add the peppercorn after it infuses with the ginger for a little while. Gives it that nice, sweet, spicy aroma and flavor that we want before we really hit it with the black peppercorn. So we'll see you then. Oh hey, has it been three days already or did I just change my shirt? We may never know. Either way, Three days into our pepper gin infusion, this stuff has been going. So step two in this process is we add one tablespoon of whole black peppercorns. Seal this up and give it a shake. Store it in a cool dark place for about eight to 12 hours. Generally, I just let it sit overnight. So. The longer you let the black peppercorn sit in the mixture, the spicier it's going to get. And we're back. We let that infuse overnight. Let's see what we have here. Looks good. All right, now we've got our fine strainer. Cheesecloth over top. And strain the pepper gin. All right, four days and three t-shirts worth of work and we have completed our pepper gin. Good job, guys. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready for a drink. We are gonna start off with three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice, half an ounce of monk fruit sweetener. This is a zero calorie sweetener. You can also use sugar, honey, or agave. I just try not to use too much sugar. ounce and a half of our homemade pepper gin. We're going to give that a nice shake. Add a splash of soda water. So what we've done now is we've made a Tom Collins with our homemade pepper gin. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, that's good. It's got the nice sweet flavor of the ginger as well as that burn from the peppercorn. 
and those nice botanicals that were already in the gin. Cheers for a thousand years, friends. <laughs>